Gupta is called as a golden age because of uh, many factors and one such factor is the development in the science and technology in that period. Development in the science and Hello dear aspirants, welcome to Plotus IS. Today we are going to discuss science and technology in ancient India with a special reference to Gupta period. Okay, so as per the previous trend of the video, let us have uh, look on some questions which were asked in civil service examination. Okay, so one question which was asked was zero was invented by zero was invented by so who had invented zero? Aryabhat, Brahmihir, Bhaskar first or unknown Indian? This was asked in 1995 civil service prelims. The second question is what does the Bodhyan theorem that is the Bodhyan Sulva Sutra relates to the length of the sides of right ankle triangle, calculation of the value of pi, logarithm calculations, and normal or uh, distributive crop. Okay, all these four things are related to Buddhyan, but the point is asking it is the Vidyam theorem. So, what is the to which Vidyam theorem is related? Okay, this was also from prelims examination. Other question is that this one match list one list two the first list is of the finding invention and calculation the second list is the ancient indian scholar okay so the first point is time taken by the earth to orbit time taken by the earth to the orbit the sun calculation of the value of pi invention of the digit zero so here the question is ask not zero it is a digit zero okay and then game of the snake and ladders so and then the ancient scholars are aribhat bhaskacharya who is also known as Bhaskaracharya 1, Bhaskar 1, and then Buddhyan and Gyandev. So, what is the answer of this question? Let us have a look on other question. The question is Astang Hirde. Astang Hirdeya, an important book on Ayurveda, was written by which of the following author? Charat, Susrut, or Brihad, Bhagavad, or in Mesitwani, none of the above. These are the four uh, questions we have seen. So now we will have a look on the science and technology in some detail. And then we will see whether you are able to solve the question or not. All right. So what we find and uh, there is other writing, other question that is made by me. Aryabhat is associated with that he had written Romat Siddhan, the first to use decimal system. Finding out the area of triangle which was used in trigonometry in later period and then a calculation of the value of pi. Okay, so what will be the answers here? All right, so now let us have a look on this uh, things. Okay, so especially this is the science and technology during the Gupta and Gupta period is also called as a period of golden age. In another video, we will discuss, uh, I will make one. A separate video in which we will discuss that why Gupta is, is called as golden age. Okay, there are many such reasons because of which Gupta is Gupta period is called as a golden age of Indian history. So we will discuss in separate video and Gupta is called as a golden age because of uh, many factors and one such factor is the development in the science and technology in that period. Development in the science and technology and other feature is the, the development of Sanskrit literature. Sanskrit literature are the other points for which Gupta is called as a golden age. So do you know in the science, uh, in the mathematics, in the astronomy, in the uh, medicine, in the metallurgy, these all developments are seen in the ancient India. If we see the mathematical part, the Aryabhat is one such person who is very much famous in the mathematics who had written a book called Aryabhatiya. So Aryabhatiya is a book written by Aryabhat. Okay. According to the Allahabad inscription, according to the Allahabad inscription, decimal system, decimal system was the first time used by Aryabhat. So Aryabhat is the first person in India, in the Indian subcontinent, who had used the decimal system for the first time. Okay. Then there's a, a then what you find the Romat Siddhan, Romat Siddhan of Brahmihi, Romat Siddhan of Brahmihi, Romat Siddhan written by. Brahmihir. So this was this was inspired. This was inspired 
from astronomy. Hai na? The, the astronomy Roman Siddhant was very much inspired from Aryabhatta. Aryabhatta is the first person. Aryabhatta is the first person who had found out the area of triangle. That he is the first person who found out how to uh, bring out, how to find out area out of triangle, which was used in the later uh, trigonometry. So this is one. Uh, this is what we know. He is the first person who had calculated the value of pi. Calculated the value of pi. Okay. And then in case of algebra, his and which was used very much in the algebra. Okay. Then what we see the Brahm group. The, he had also used algebra. So algebra was also used by uh, Aryabhatta, which was very much inspired. Which which inspired Brahm group. Which inspired Brahm group. Uh, another very famous mathematician of the time. So uh, Brahm group had utilized algebra. In his astronomical problems, in his astronomical problems. So, in the astronomical problem, uh, algebra was utilized by Brahm group, which was especially brought up by Aryabhat. So, this is what we know about Aryabhat. He was a man in the sixth century. He was belonging in the sixth century AD, AD in the later Gupta periods. Okay. What we other things know that Aryabhat and Brahmi, especially. Aryabhat is the person who had found out the cause of the lunar and solar eclipse. So he, they have found out the cause of the lunar and solar eclipse. He had calculated the circumstances of the Earth. The circumstances of the Earth was calculated by Aryabhat, and he was the first person to reveal that the Sun is stationary. The Earth revolves around the Sun. The, he is the first person in the Indian subcontinent to tell that it is the Earth. That re revolves around the sun. It is not the sun who revolves around the earth. So this is what we know about him. The other famous uh, person who is also a mathematician and astronomers, he the person is a Brahmi. He was belonging to the court of Chandragupta II. He was a, he was in the court of Chandragupta II who had written in the Sanskrit language. Brahmi had written a book called Brihad Samhita. And Panch Siddhan, Panch Siddhan. Out of the Panch Siddhan, this Roman Siddhan is one such right. Roman Siddhan is one such writing in this Panch Siddhan. Okay. So we have a Brahma group. He has written a Brahma Sputit Siddhan, and as he is the person who had given a law of gravitation. That the law of gravitation, which is given by uh, in the later times Newton. So they he they have given in the 18th and the 19th century, and this person is there. Who is giving the law of gravitation in the ancient India in the fifth and sixth century AD? So India was so much powerful in this time that we are going to see here. Okay. So what we saw, so in the mathematics and astronomy, India was very powerful. In case of medicine, also in case of medicine, also Susrut and Chakar, the Susrut and Charak are the most important persons. Susrut had written a book called Susrut Samhita. Susrut Samhita, which tells how to operate cataracts, how to operate stone diseases. So cataracts and stone diseases were uh, solved. The problems of cataracts and stone diseases were solved by, uh, by Susrut in ancient India. The Charat is considered, Charat is considered as a father of Indian medicine. Charat is considered as a father of Indian medicine. And then there's a word, there's a person, there's a person called Brihat, Brihat Bhagavat, Brihat Bhagavat. Who had written a book called Astan Astan Hirde. Astan Hirde. Matlab, Astan Hirde. The eight souls of uh, heart. So Astan Hirde was written by this one, and this book is a very important book on Indian Ayurveda. Astan Hirde is a very important book on in Indian Ayurveda, which had been inspired from Charat. So Charat was an influential person for uh, Bhagavad that we come to know. Okay. And in case of metallurgy, we know that the Guptas were making iron and bronze images. An iron pillar of Meroli, iron pillar of Meroli, which is situated in the boundary in the premises of Qutub Minar, is one of the main example for us. Is one of the main example for us at this time. Okay, so this is the way in the science and technology Gupta was very powerful. Now the one such person, the debate is on the zero. Debate is on the zero. Why zero? Why there is a debate on zero? We have seen this question, and this question was telling that zero was invented by Aryabhat. So this question was asked in 1995. So Aryabhat is the answer. Everyone knows. Okay. 
but if you see this question here the word is invention of the digit zero invention of the digit zero but its answer is not arrived it was asked in 2007 upsc prelims examination okay so answer is not arrived so now the problematic will be here okay how here the time taken by the earth to the orbit sun was discovered by arrival so a will go to 1 the calculation of pi you know we also know that the calculation of pi was done by arrival we have just discussed in the in, in that ppt but do you know the answer of this question is again not arrival everything is related to earth all these three things are related to arrival only but the answer in this question is not arrival so the pi was calculated by buddhya so do you know arevat had calculated the value of pi the arevat had calculated the value of pi that was 3.14 okay whereas buddhya had calculated at a age of 3 that 3 is the main value of pi that we knew in the ancient time okay so the invention of zero was done by bhaskaracharya invention of the digit zero digit zero was done by Bhaskaracharya and the game of snake and ladders were done by Gyandev. So the answer of this question will be C. C will be the answer of this question. So now let us see that what is the debate on zero. Like we always know that invention of the zero was done by Arevat, but here the invention of the digit zero and the option, the real answer is Bhaskaracharya. So why this is there and calculation of pi, we understood that both people had done the calculation of pi. So we will have a look on a PPT. This PPT will tell you that do you know zero was not only used in India in ancient time, but in the time of 5th and 6th century AD. The same zero was also there in Mesopotamia in around 1st century BC. Okay. So zero was used in the 1st century BC in Mesopotamia. That is 300 BC. The Mayan people, Mayan people invented independently in the 4 AD. Okay, so Mayan people had this independently in the 4 AD and later on it was devised in India. It was devised in India and from India it went to Cambodia and then from Cambodia it went to China, from China it went to Arab, Arab and then from Arab in the Europe it went to Europe in the 12th century. So we know that Arab zero was independently discovered in um, uh, uh, firstly used by Mesopotamians, men had used it independently, they have not borrowed from them. Then what we say, it was devised in India and from India it went to Cambodia, to China and from China it went to Arabian countries and from Arabian it went to the Europeans in the 12th century AD. Okay, this is the way zero was going. So why did the debate on zero? zero the debate on zero is that Arevat is the first person who is credited for using zero in the decimal system. Okay, so the, in the decimal system, zero was used by Arevat, and they he introduced zero in the mathematics. He introduced zero in the mathematics. But do you know Brahm Gupta is the first person? Brahm Gupta, another famous mathematician of ancient India, is the first person, mathematician and astronomer, who had used zero in the mathematical operations. So mathematical operation mein zero in order which kiya and then like addition and subtraction. So zero was used in the addition and subtraction for the first person that is a Brahman group. Okay. So what we see Aryabhat had introduced zero in the fifth century and the Brahman group is the person, Brahman group is the person who had especially used in the calculations. Okay. So this is what we know about these things. Okay. So what other things that we are going to know here is that Bhastacharya is the other person. Bhastacharya is the other person, a 7th century man. He is the person who was the first to write numbers in the Hindu Arabic decimal system. Hindu Arabic decimal system and then with the circle for the zero. So this circle, this circle, digit zero was the first time it was used by Aryabhat. It was the first time which was used by Aryabhat who gave unique and remarkable rational appropriation of the same. So digit zero, this digit zero was used by the first time by Bhaskar Charre and he is defined as a Bhaskar one because we have another Bhaskar in the 12th century India. So he is a Bhaskar one. Okay. So this is what, so the answer of that question, answer of that question 
बिल वी भास्कर सो भास्कर बिल वी द वन हु हैड इन्वेंटेड द डिजिट जीरो जीरो वॉज इन्वेंटेड बाई आर ए वर्ड एंड जीरो वॉज फर्स्टली यूज इन द मैथ कैलकुलेशन एंड सबस्टेक्शन एडिशन एंड सबस्टेक्शन बाई ब्राउन बुड सो दिस इज द वे वी नो अबाउट दीज पीरियड्स ओके अबाउट फ्रॉम इट वट वी ऑल्सो नो इफ यू सी द अदर क्वेश्चन दैट वी सी इट्स आंसर यू विल बी सो बुद्धियान इज ऑल्सो रिलेटेड टू पाई ओके बट द पर्सन द क्वेश्चन इज आस्ट द बुद्धियान थ्योरम तो बुद्धियान थ्योरम इज रिलेटेड टू द लेंथ ऑफ द साइड ऑफ द राइट एंगल ट्रैंगल सो दिस विल बी द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन ओके एंड द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज दिस वन एंड इफ यू सी दिस क्वेश्चन that us tan griya da was written by which one so we have just discussed now if you remember that us tan griha was especially written by brihat bhagavat so answer of this question will be brihat bhagavat brihat bhagavat will be the answer of this question okay so this is what we are in the science and tech in the gupta period especially uh, in another video we will uh, bring another topic and especially one day i will also make video on as i promised you in the beginning that why gupta age is called as golden age in indian history okay so uh, thank you for being with us uh, please like share and subscribe to lotus is channel and be in touch if there are any problem any issue any doubt in history uh, for upsc prelims mains or any examination you please feel free to comment on the youtube link and we will respond by a comment or we will make video on that topic all right so thank you so much